Hey everyone, I'm back with another episode of My Ranch Life. I'm busy putting blankets on horses again. This is my guy TC that I rodeo off of. Um, yeah, it still gets kind of cold at night and they're all shedding their winter hair now. So I, I always like to blanket them still so that they don't get cold. I figure if I need a coat on, a winter coat, then they probably need a winter coat too. So they're always spoiled. I come out in the morning, take them all off, and at night I put them all back on. There's my cow Isabel walking away there. She has had her prolapse in the entire day since this morning. I put it in first thing, like right when it came out this morning at about 6.30 a.m. I think and it's been in the rest of the day but she's had lots of discharge so I'm thinking that she's gonna calve tonight. I know I say this every day but I'm actually really thinking for sure that tonight's the night. She keeps looking at us every time we come out here and just like is trying to find a spot I think. I did get her in the squeeze earlier and gave her some oxytetracycline because I'm worried that she probably has an infection with me putting that prolapse in so many times. I'm just praying that the calf is still alive and not gone septic on me. Chester wasn't doing that great this morning. So I called the vet and got some different antibiotics and put him on that and a different painkiller. So I'm hoping that by morning he'll improve a bit. I don't know. I'm, I'm running out of options what to do with him. So if this doesn't work, I don't know what's, I don't know if there is another, anything else to try. I've tried all kinds of antibiotics. I've tried poulticing. I've tried draw it out. I've I've done everything I can think of to do for that little guy and I don't know, nothing seems to be working. So I'm hoping that this works because I don't want to give up on him and I don't want him to die on me either. Um, I'm just thinking about a friend of mine that they're, lost their her daughter today. Kind of is hard. Um, Kelly's busy feeding cows. We always feed our cows at night, like in the evening, so that they calve during the day. And yeah, it works pretty good. Um, we haven't had very many calves at night at all. They're born usually early in the morning or throughout the day. So that makes the nights a little bit better. Um, I don't know who else does that, but we, we used to feed in the morning and then they'd all calve at night and it was such a pain. But anyhow, um, I guess if I, if my cow has her calf, I'll maybe hop on again and try to do another live with her having the calf for some of my city friends that haven't seen a calf being born. If I happen to see it actually happen, I will do that for you. Um, hopefully that all ends good. I still have to put all the blankets on. I've only got two on out of about 13 or 15, I can't remember. It's quite a few anyways that I blanket every day. And I gotta lock up my chickens yet and get my kids organized for school tomorrow, which I'm sad about. I actually love having my kids home. I don't like them going to school. <laughs> I know other people can't wait for their kids to go to school, but I'm the opposite. So anyways, that's, that's all I know for today. Um, I did manage to, actually I know one more thing. I rode my new horse bear today and I got my son to drive the quad with the calf sled that I built, which is actually just a roping dummy that I bolted on my kid's old sled. But it works great and I probably roped it maybe 10 times and I missed the first four because I didn't get my hand in the right position on my delivery but I caught the last six in a row so I was happy with that um, 
but anyway, yeah. So I'm hoping eventually I can rope on live cattle sometime. Um, but right now, the calf sled with the quad is the best I can do. So anyhow, I will keep at it and stay positive and hopefully things start turning out around here. Anyhow, take care. I hope everyone else is having a great day and I will check in again tomorrow.